share. I don't like sharing. You don't like sharing? I know. Okay, so as soon as we start, kids gather around. Okay, you want some? Big, big. Okay, summertime dish from Armenian cuisine called Aylazan or many will know this dish uh, by the name Ajab Sandal which is not an Armenian name and originally this is a um, Caucasian dish <laughs> that many countries that live in Caucasus or Caucasus consider the dish to be uh, their uh, traditional I'll show you the Armenian version of the dish Aylazan Okay, ingredients and quick story about this dish every time my mom would empty out the fridge she'd make this dish in Armenia all vegetables are usually seasonal and in summertime we always had leftover vegetables in the fridge and we don't like wasting our vegetables quickly about ingredients um, I'm using zucchini, eggplant these are the fresh vegetables and these are leftovers that I had in my fridge. I have some um, mushy tomato that I can't throw away because it will make a great tomato sauce for the dish. And then I have this red pepper. Uh, this side looks perfect. This side doesn't look very perfect. So we'll use the side that's, uh, that looks good. And we also need um, herbs, lots of herbs, anything you have on hand, onion, uh, carrots are not in the dish, but I like adding carrots in mine. Uh, celery is not in the dish, but I also added. And then potatoes were the most favorite um, part from this dish. As a child, I only ate potatoes. Um, and of course, chili peppers. You like it spicy, get the spicy. You don't like it spicy, you can use bell peppers. That's basically it for main vegetables. And also, I'll be using some tomato paste, uh, red pepper paste, as always. <laughs> Salt, uh, yes, garlic was hiding, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> garlic. Um, black pepper, I like adding just a little bit of curry, but that's not in the recipe, usually. Ground white pepper, coriander, and then a little bit of olive oil, and... Ha! Okay, he wants water and just a little bit of water or vegetable stock. I think that's it. I'll try to find the babysitter for this little guy and get back to you. Come on, let's go. And I don't like when they cry for no reason. Uh, I'm going to explode. You want to explode? Okay, no. no. I'm going to explode you. <laughs> He's going to explode me. Okay, that's his thank you. Okay, so he got his ice cream. And no more ice cream, Arkham. Okay, so how do we prepare this dish? Uh, usually they make this Ailazan in a large pot. I'm making in a smaller version, just a little bit for me and Lilith. And that's why I, I have this low pot. Okay, and um, we always make it with young potatoes. You can always go with other kind of potatoes, but if the potatoes are large, cut them into large cubes. Don't make them very small. I already washed mine. Um, I'll just remove a couple of blemishes, which is um, an optional thing, but it's always suggested. And these, are, these potatoes look pretty good now. Okay, so I'll quickly pour my potatoes in my pot. And potatoes always go first, first layer, which is bottom layer, okay? These are good. Next will go carrot, because carrot and potato cook um, longer. And I'm going to roughly chop my carrots, just like this. And if I had a helper, I would have asked my helper to peel the veggie, uh, the how do I call it eggplants? Okay, just like this. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go ahead and quickly peel my 
eggplants. I'll leave just a little bit skin on and I'm going to chop them very uh, uh, big into big or thick slices just like this and then you don't want to cook and smash the vegetables too much too much <laughs> too much just like this okay i'm thinking to get a pot let me do it in a pot okay I need them to be in layers. This way they all go on the bottom and I don't like it. I'll go traditional way. Hajan. Okay, so I got the pot and I'll do it just the traditional way in a bigger pot, in a deeper pot. And first, as I mentioned, go the potatoes. Like that. And then I'll pour my carrots like this basically you're layering the vegetables mm -hmm. and then my eggplants what happened Lucy? Lucy Lucy is the worst um, babysitter for Beck she's always doing something so he um, gets tired and bored of her <laughs> okay so I'll go ahead and finish slicing, peeling and show you how we make this dish. And be sure to peel the skin of tomato. I'll chop it coarsely. This is gonna slow cook and kind of melt all together but still the vegetables oh, need to be cut or chopped coarsely that's that and i'll finish uh, peeling and slicing the tomato i think we should be done i'll grate the garlic later okay so i'm almost done the longest part is this slicing and peeling but you know what this is such a healthy and such a delicious dish and I always um, I always what do I always do? I forgot what I was saying this is good hot or cold same or next day this is one of those magic dishes Arka what are you doing? what's that sound Arka? what, what was it? Squeaking, I know I don't like that sound. I don't do that. Everything is chopped, sliced. I'm starting to arrange the pot. And I place the rest of my... Uh, I always forget the word eggplants. Once in a while, it just goes out of my mind. And then the zucchini. Like this. And then I'll put my celery. Um, peppers the last one will go not the last one onions will go almost the last oops <laughs> and then I'll pour my tomatoes over like this I'm going to add the herbs and salt at the end like after I give this a quick stir Okay, and I'll grate the garlic can be to your taste. I'm using only three cloves of garlic. Okay. About one cup of water. I'll empty just a three quarter of a cup. And to this, I'm adding my... Let me get my spoon. A tablespoon of red pepper paste and then tomato paste a tablespoon of each this will give really nice color to the dish and i can also pour my vegetable oil about three or four ta tablespoons yes and i'm going to give this a quick or maybe slow stir so i don't splash it and pour over my dish oops 
I splashed it. Okay, this looks just perfect. And before I pour it, I'll add all my spices and seasonings. About a teaspoonful of pepper and then coriander, another teaspoonful or more. White pepper, they don't add it. I just have it and I like how it tastes. So I'm adding what white pepper as well. As I said, there is no curry in the recipe, but I add it. Okay. What else? I'll add the salt later because I don't want to... Uh, salt uh, cooks everything faster. I want everything to slow cook. So I'll add this, cover the lid and cook about, I'd say, 35 or 40 minutes on medium to low heat. And then I'll show you how we do this. <laughs> Did you notice how I stretched? <laughs> <laughs> the dish has been cooking almost 35 minutes now and it's steaming, boiling, it smells incredible. Okay, so I chopped my herbs and I had some dill, basil, cilantro and parsley, everything. And it's time to add the salt, herbs, give it a quick mix. Uh, cook. No, you can't cook. Uh, you can't mix. Peg, be careful. Aga, can you watch Peg for one minute? Because no one is here to watch it. And I want to show you how this looks. Uh, you're not supposed to open the lid while it's cooking. Okay, look how, how good it looks already. So, I'll add my salt very quickly. Salt to, the ta to your taste. Okay, and then I'll add my herbs. Give this a gentle and well mix. A good mix, I mean. I think that's the right word. And then let it cook another 10 minutes or so because the vegetables on the top need, uh, not need to cook a few more minutes. And usually you consider the dish cooked when the potatoes are uh, fully cooked and mine yeah mine are cooked already so we're almost done with this delicious hajar look at that is yeah. he cheesy of course he's a grown guy <laughs> and i will go ahead and quickly taste the salt and we should be done no back mm, a little bit more what happened? No, 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 he's getting it all over himself. It's okay, I'll no wash him. him. Ew, yucky baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's very interesting. That's it. I cooked only five minutes because everything was cook cooked pretty well. Depends on your ingredients. Uh, these young potatoes, because they are very young, they cook faster. So if you go by the uh, by the vegetables, if it's cooked, then it's cooked. Okay, and I'm gonna serve this with some lavash bread. And this smells so so good. Haja, you don't like this, of course. You don't like anything that's healthy. Except for carrots, he loves carrots. Okay, so this was Armenian dish Ailazan, or as many know by Ajab Sandal. Uh, and I need a spoon. What happened? Okay, I'll whip my lava. Uh, I'll put down a recipe on my blog at heavenai.com. Um, Wow. It should be very quick and simple, nothing quite complicated. Basically, I can't, enough making that noise. Watch. Um, yes, simple, easy, and what I was saying, uh, my mind isn't working very well recently. <laughs> okay, I'll try the dish first. 
This is so good. Why am I dipping the lavash into the spoon? I can just dip it in there. You don't have to eat this with bread. It tastes really good even without, but I eat everything with bread. Hmm. So, so good. And, and you won't believe it, I like this dish with fresh tomatoes on the side. So, that's it. Recipe will be on my blog at .com. Check it out. Ask me questions if you have any. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Like the video and share my videos. That's it. Thank you so much for watching our noisy, crazy videos. And I'll see you soon. He scored a goal, huh? Yeah. You want some Thanks. jashi? No? No? Dip it just a little bit. You want some? No. no. Oh, yeah, who said it? A bar to show and